Hello all you wonderful people in YouTube land and welcome to the Dollar Store Pour. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful day to paint. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So as I'm sure you can already see, uh, I've started off, uh, the canvas is already ready to go. Uh, it's a mixture of white and silver paint. But for now, I'm going to get that out of the way as we get the paint itself ready. I'm going to do a flip and drag or whatever you want to call it. And I'll be using two colors, uh, black and pink. Uh, in the white and silver, I've added a little bit of the um, water repellent uh, for the shoe stuff, for shoes rather. Um, in the pink, uh, I've added some dish soap. In the black, I've added uh, alcohol. And of course, they both have the um, water and PVA glue. And I've got three little cups that I'll be doing the flipping and dragging with. Now, the reason I'm using three um, is because that's all I had. So, that's what I'll be using. And I'm just going to pour the paint into the cups. Randomly getting it in there. Just layering it a little bit, of course. And trying to go a little more heavy on the pink because I find black is so overpowering. And I want to make sure the pink shows up. So as I'm pouring, I'm trying to get much more pink than black. Not certain why that is, why the black seems to overpower so much. I'm sure there's some sort of scientific reason for it. Eh, maybe not. Irrelevant, I suppose. But again, just uh, layering and filling up these cups. And that's probably okay. I want to put a little bit more. Okay, so I'll get those out of the way. And look at the uh, the prepared canvas back. Flipped over. All right. And now we'll see if I can do this without spilling them. A little bit spilled, that's all right. Uh, that's not bad, not bad at all. And where'd my pins go? Ah, there we are. We'll just poke a little hole in each one. And of course, I have the dullest pins possible. So I'll heat them up and they should poke through just fine. enough. Dollar store pins, what are you going to do? There we are, there's one hole. And two, and that one's moving. Goodness. Oh dear. That one has a mind all of its own. That one's going too. All right. And I'm trying hard not to, well, obviously, like doing this, you can tell I'm not applying any weight to it. Just 
pushing it along. lift this one up and swirl it around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and torch it. Lots of air bubbles there. Might use a little bit too much paint because I think by the time I swirl this around it won't really have mattered whether I did a drag or not. But that's all right. Sure, you get the full coverage, get all the corners. Almost got it. All right, that works. Just gonna go that way just a little bit more. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give that a quick torch again. Lots of air bubbles, lots of little cells. So I think we'll go ahead and let that sit, give it about a half an hour or so, and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. Um, I don't really see much difference. Um, you may notice uh, there and there uh, some pink poking through that's not from the painting sitting. Uh, I was cleaning up the paints a little bit and I spilled a couple drops. But uh, it goes along with the painting, so I don't think it uh, takes anything away. And we'll get a little closer on that. You certainly see some cell formation there. Not in various places. Not, not huge cells, but some cells. A lot of them partial to the black and pink. Nice contrast, and especially on the white. A little bit of silver poking through. Uh, I think I just had a little bit too much paint in the little cups, and so it turned into more just of a, a dirty pour than a, than a drag. But uh, but that's all right. I'm happy with the results. So that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and throw a like my way. Give it a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, don't forget to uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe and that way you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Thank you all again for watching and I will see all you wonderful people next time.